Good day, mates. This is your favorite DJ, DJ OK. I know why you're listening to me right now. You want to know why? Because my news is free. Let's get into it. OK, um, I know you guys haven't seen me for a while. Guys, I had a whole fever. And I was feeling under the weather for a few days, man. You guys didn't even check on me, man. You guys are messed up. Actually, some of you guys did check on me, but, you know, some of you guys were just like, bro, where the news at? How about y'all say, hey, you all right, bro? Anyhow, man, let's get into some news. Um, Who was on the move this weekend? Um, New Look was on the move this weekend. Um, This is actually um, New Look's first appearance outside since March. Um, Arlie, the maestro slash owner of New Look, his dad had passed away, so he was took a little break from the HMI, and this is his first performance, and let's see how that went. That was more so of a, a, what's the word I want, like a Broadway show to me, you know? It was pretty nice. Um, would I attend? I don't know. It looks it looks very, very uppity, 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 and I don't think there was much of, there was no dance floor, it was more seating. I don't know if it's for me, but I want to say that was really, really nice to see. Um, it was really nice to see. It kind of reminds me of um, one of um, Arlie's videos, I think. I think the video is Confessions. It kind of looks... Is it Confessions? I don't remember the name of the song. Anyhow, he has like that same setting in one of his music videos. I'll, I'll look it up for you guys. Who else was in Boston this past weekend? Um, Klaas was in Boston this past week. Uh, that looked really good. Let's check it out. Classes back to trending up, y'all. They are trending up. Um, they dropped three songs. I like, I like one out of the three. The general population like two of the three, and the third song, um, the one that kind of losing. That's the one that's kind of like, eh, that's just my own personal opinion. Um, but hey, what do I know? Uh, Philly, Philly was checked in this weekend. Um, I went to Kosh this weekend in Philly. Let's check that out. <laughs> Also, in the same night, Kayla Tony Mix were performing live at um, Cross the Way Red Wine. Let's check that out. <laughs> Actually, Tony Mix didn't show up. Um, allegedly, he missed his flight. Um, no, his flight was delayed, canceled. He didn't get to New York till about 1.30 in the morning. That's the word that he put out. That's the statement that he put out. Philly, I'm going to tell you that you have a great day with Creola and Tony Mix. We know that DJ Smoy is one of the people who have a il se gagne dit avec nous il paye normal il va aucun problème bon je dis on te gagne voilà midi et demi dans airport là depuis à 10h45 pas grand avion volé à cause de mauvais temps tout flight cancel de là dedans à Miami OK actuellement là arrivé New York 
à 2h30, je ne vais pas monter fini. Si on a dit tout le monde excusé, il n'y a pas de faute, non. Si mauvais temps qui fait avant voler. Et puis, on a dit, dis-je, je vais rentrer en contact avec le management là. Pour nous capables de prendre notre date plus vite que possible pour nous faire un venir faire programme fini. Si on finit, on a pris une date rapide pour nous monter, pour nous venir gérer ça, ok? On l'a. was working and they work in the airport too and they said they saw Tony Mix in the airport around like 8 30 p.m. so now these these stories are kind of conflicting he's saying he didn't get down there till 1 30 and he put the time stamp on there which means absolutely nothing um but hey we're gonna take your word for it Tony Mix so it was Philly is a small market but it was Tony Mix Koyala versus Kosh for the weekend first and foremost philly don't do that again man y'all market is too small to be going head to head like that but who's the winner who's the loser i want to say kosh is the winner why is kosh the winner kosh is the winner because one band one bill they had the liquor they had the hookah the venue wasn't expensive all they had to do was pay for kosh Kosh sound, and um, that's it. Kosh and the sound. On the other end, you got that big ass venue. You got to pay for Cleola. God knows how much that was. Cleola, then you had to pay for um, 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 Tony Mix. That's at least five bands. So, congratulations to the promoters, KKM. Good job. Now, also this weekend, they had Copa in Vegas and then Copa Cabana. Copa Cabana is in Florida and obviously um, Destination Copa, which did Copa in Vegas. Um, basically, I, I want to say they were they were the challengers. They were fighting each other because they had basically some of the same artists. They had Rochelle. Uh, Copa Cabana had Rochelle. Copa in Vegas had Rochelle. They had Kai in Copa Cabana. <laughs> Copa Vegas had So who was I'm gonna just say they were battling each other too. Who was the winner? The winner for that weekend, I have to say, was Copa in Vegas. Copa in Vegas is the winner for that battle because it's simple. Copa Cabana was scheduled to be a nice event, but it rained like hell on that. Um it rained. I mean like it was pouring raining. It was raining for like 45 minutes straight at one point. I mean, you can't you can't fight Mother Nature. You can't fight Mother Nature. I mean, it's not the promoter's fault. They did an incredible job in promoting. I mean, they got even their own song to it. They did the damn thing. But Mother Nature did them wrong. And um, Copa in Vegas, I want to say, came out victorious on this one. Um, but it wasn't all that gravy, you know, peachy creamy with Copa in Vegas. They had some terrible events too. They had, um, I think that a lingerie or pajama party uh, that Thursday. That was, that was terrible. The turnout was terrible for that one. Um, what else happened over there? Um, Rutcha was scheduled to perform on Friday night, I think, or Saturday night. It could be one of those. Either or. She was supposed to perform and her band her band allegedly missed their flights. They missed their flights, so she could not perform. It was the Black Affair, I think. So she did not perform. So in, in return, so she ended up performing at the White Affair. I could have the colors mixed up. If I if I do, sorry. But she performed at the White Affair alongside Kai, which went pretty, pretty, pretty great, great for her. Um, I heard the energy on stage was incredible. Um, you know, people say they're beefing, but nobody saw any emotion that there was any type of animosity on stage. They just came together and they made it work for the Copa in Vegas crew. Incredible job. Rachel is still trending up. She's trending up. And Kai is just, just moving sideways. Moving sideways is not a bad thing because they've been um, the number two slot for a while. And Kai is still there. Kai is doing all the fun events. Yo. Can I be like, can I just carry your uh, yeah, equipment bag, yo? <laughs> so Cruise La was on the move this, uh, they were, uh, Cruise La was on the move this weekend also. And um, Cruise La, 
I hear allegedly that it's not alleged. It wasn't a good turnout. It was kind of a light turnout. Um, and uh, some of the attenders that came to that event were complaining about the brunch food. The waffles were cold. <laughs> the chicken and waffles was cold. How y'all gonna bring me y'all food complaint to you? <laughs> They complaining about the chicken and waffles, man. <laughs> it was cool. But um, Cruise Lot's caught in a, in a tight spot right now. The market is just trending down badly. And Cruise, Cruise Lot, they performed on a night where you're just going to have to join, join the downtrend. Who else did bad for this weekend? Uh, Beijing, Kajilak, and Kriola were at Bentley's in Brooklyn, New York. And that damn thing was empty as hell. Maybe 150 people in there, max. It was a bad turnout. Guys, y'all want to pay attention to my news. I'm telling you, it is a downtrend for the Haitian artists right now. Downtrend, downtrend for the bottle scene. I don't know how long this is going to be, like, it's going to keep up. Because there's some nice bottles coming to town. And will they survive? I don't know. The market is so bad that this past Friday, Iki Klaas were supposed to perform somewhere down in uh, Florida. They straight canceled that thing. They had to. That was a smart thing to do. Um, T-Vice is supposed to perform this upcoming weekend. That ball is canceled. I heard it's due to some personal reasons. They had somebody had death within the promoters. Um, one of the promoters' um, parent passed away, which I understand. But that's not, I don't feel like that's the reason that Bob was canceled. Because if there was a thousand tickets sold, y'all would not even be thinking twice about canceling. That's just my personal opinion. But what do I know? Look, guys, man. Each and every day, man, after 4 p.m. Yo, check me out, yo. You want to know why? Because my news is free. Peace.